Race fans, this is Owen McCall coming at you from the new Smyrna Speedway, July 15th, 2017. And we are getting ready for our first feature race of the night, and that is the Sportsman. This field is 18 cars, and it was so big they had to split this thing up into two nine-car heat races. So we ran the heats. We had a hula hoop contest as an intermission, and now we are ready for the first feature of the night. 18 sportsmen set to go for 25 laps. And uh, right now I'm going to call him as I see him here on the track. 111, that is Patrick Thomas. 71 is Earl Beckner. 51, Chris Harvey. 22, Cheyenne Mather. 63, George Alexander. 50, Jeff Wright. The other 111, that is Josh Borum. 16 is Cal Whitmore. 37 is Kenner Brown. 31, JT Tippins. 33 is Michael Held, and the nine making his first start of the year. That is Cody Jett. 44 is Matthew Green. 3Z is Jeff Colburn. 33 is Mike Dom. 06 is Rich Payne. And making it out on the track after not appearing during the heat races, the 21X of George Dom and the 10 of Joe Hamilton. Right now, everybody is right now fig trying to figure out where they're supposed to line up and get ready here. But yeah, Cody Jett in the nine, that's his first appearance of the year here, so. A little bit of confusion right now as opposed to where everybody's supposed to line up, but looks like we're gonna get that squared away soon pretty quickly. And we will get to some exciting sportsman racing action. These guys always get the good car counts. These guys never let down. And we're getting ready for 25 laps. Looks like now everybody's trying to get into a definitive starting order. Right now, the one-to-go signal is coming out. They are doubling everybody up. So it appears that Cody Jett is on the pole with Matthew Grant on the outside. Row two is going to be Harvey and Thomas. Row three is Beckner and Mathers. Then in row four, we're going to have George Alexander and Jeff Wright. Joshua Borum and Cal Whitmore in row five. Row six is Tippins and Brown. Then it's going to be George Dom and Michael Held, followed by Jeff Colbert and Rich Payne. And that will be rounded out by Mike Dom and Joe Hamilton. The pace truck pulling off of the track. 18 cars set to go over 25 laps. The green flag is out. We're racing. Great start for Cody Jett. Actually, not that much of a... Uh, uh, Matthew Green goes by on the lead on the outside. Here goes Patrick Thomas trying to get second away in that 111. Side by side for second now as we come down to the line. Thomas has second. Patrick Thomas going to try and clear. Cody Gently does that for second. Here comes Beckner and Harvey side by side in a battle for fourth. With that 44 of Green out front in the lead. Ooh, a little bit of a jam session in the back there as Beckner takes third. Harvey falls back a little bit. Still glued to the rear bumper of Jet. Ooh, 
bouncing off the inside line there. That looks to be Jeff Wright and the 50 Sparks were flying out of the back of his car. Right now a lot of tight racing going on about the fourth spot. Mathers won that second heat race in that 22 car. But meanwhile, up front is still Matthew Green, followed by Patrick Thomas and Earl Beckner. Beckner is the sportsman's class points leader going into this week. And he's going to get a run up on Thomas trying to get second. Battle for the fourth spot. Chris Harvey to the inside of Cody Jet. Not much is going to happen with that. We have a caution. Chris Harvey goes around in the 51. And it looks like Kenner Brown goes around with Jeff Colburn as well. The 37 to the 3Z. First caution of the race is out. Appears that all three cars can continue the race. Michael Held has pulled the 33 car into the pits. Looks to me like the, 30, the 33 has a flat tire. Yeah, I mean that tire, and I mean that tire is flat, and he is pulling that 33 into the pits. So Michael Held's night appears to be done in that 33 car. But Colburn and Brown are able to pick it up and continue. So as they run, it is Matthew Green, Patrick Thomas, Earl Beckner, Cody Jett, Cheyenne Mathers, Jeff Wright, George Alexander, Cal Whitmore, Joshua Borum, JT Tippins, Rich Payne, Chris Harvey, Mike Dom, Joe Hamilton, Jeff Colburn, Kenner Brown, and George Dom, who went a lap down before the caution flag came out. One thing to definitely note, though, is the track temperature. During the afternoon, when you're out in the blazing Florida summer heat practicing, to sing, this track is obviously very hot, very slick. However, as the sun goes down, the track cools. And even during the heat races, the sun was going down. The track was cooling. As a result, the track is easily 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it was during practice sessions earlier in the afternoon. This always brings interesting predicaments for how you set up your car. Compared from the heat, the blazing heat of practice and the cooler temperatures of racing at night. And it appears that the 33 of held has fixed his flat tire, so his night is not done. He's pulling that 33 car back onto the track. Looks like they put a spare on it, and he will rejoin the field in the back. All right, NASCAR official displaying the one-to-go signal, making everybody double up. We're down to one pace truck here on the track. We're going to see if Matthew Green chooses the inside line or the outside line. He's going to choose the inside line for this restart. Everybody is right now getting in, getting in double wide formation. As the 21X of George Dom pulls behind the wall and out of the race. All right, we're going to get back to racing here in a minute. Here comes the pace truck pulling off of the track. Sportsman drivers looking for the green. 17 out of 18 are left. Green flag is going to come back out. We're back racing. Becker's going to shoot to the inside. We almost went three wide. Patrick Thomas gets the lead going back into one. Matthew Green still on the bottom trying to stay close. Becker shoved his nose on there trying to make it three wide. And Patrick Thomas has the lead. The defending sportsman class points champion and the NASCAR Division II national champion showing the way at New Smyrna. Not a familiar. This is not an unfamiliar sight. It's a very familiar sight here. And we have a wreck of the front straightaway. JT Tippins spun around coming off a of four, tags the inside wall. Kenner Brown and Jeff Colburn again have been collected, this time with much more damage to those two cars. 
the rear end of Jeff Colbert's car smashed. Brown is able to scoop it up and drive away. So is Tippins. Colbert, that 3Z saying there looks to be some flames there on the underside of the car. I think that car could be on fire if that's just the brakes. But we did have a three-car incident on the front straightaway involving JT Tippins in the 31, Kenner Brown in the 37, and Jeff Colburn in the 3Z. Caution is out around the track as Brown brings that 37 car down into the pits. And Tippins is going to stay out on the track, actually. He's not going to come into the pits. But Tibbets had made contact with the inside wall in the front straightaway, slid through victory lane. You can see the damage to the back of that 31 car as he goes through one and two. You can see there we're on the damaged side of that 31 machine. You can see where he hit the wall with that car. And it looks like uh, he's going to bring it in now as he's slowing up. Right now we have workers down on the front straightaway looking at the Colburn car. That silver 3Z machine as JT Tippins takes that 31 car behind the wall. Colburn has his car fired up and is rolling away. Just look at the damage to the back end of that 3Z car. And the black flag has come out for the 51 of Chris Harvey. That number 51 is right there on the number board on the official stand. So Harvey has been delivered a black flag from the officials. As you can see, the 51 is dropped back to the back of the field. All right, NASCAR official delivering the one to go signal. Patrick Thomas choosing the outside lane for this restart as Green goes to the bottom of the 44. JT Tippett has rejoined the field in the 31 car for this restart. Pace truck pulling off the track. We're going to go back racing here mo in a few moments. Looking for the green. NASCAR official displaying the green flag. We're back racing. Patrick Thomas jumps out to the lead on this restart. We're going to go thundering back through one and two. Here we come off of two. Matthew Green still staying close in that 44 car. Cody Jett trying to take third away from back here. Not going to happen. He's going to fall back into fourth. Thomas showing the, showing the way in the 111. He's blazing the trail up front. We almost had another incident here on the front straightaway. The 33 of Dom ran into the back of the 10 of Joe Hamilton. Here we go. Beckner to the outside. Looks like we can have a battle for second brewing here between the 44 and the 71. Beckner goes up high. 
Matthew Green goes up to the fence. Beckner still staying close. Beckner goes to the bottom now. Earl Beckner to the inside. I think Matthew Green still has the second spot, but Beckner's going to get it away from Green. So Earl Beckner has successfully taken away second from the 44, Matthew Green. However, Matthew Green's not going to go away anytime soon. Whoa. The rear bumper is dragging on the 71 of Earl Beckner. The bumper on the 71 is dragging. It went by, showering sparks. Let's see if a black flag is dished out here. Watch for him to come by again. Watch that 71 of Beckner. That rear bumper is dragging on that 71 car, so this could play a factor. We're halfway done, and a black flag is being issued for the 71 of Earl Beckner. We're a like I, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're halfway home, and because that rear bumper is tracking, your points leader, Earl Beckner, has been given a black flag. Black flag is coming out again for Beckner. Patrick Thomas still showing the way in the red, white, and blue number 111. As the pro late models are beginning to make their way towards pit road. Beckner slowing up. He is acknowledging the penalty. He's going to come into the pit. That will put Green back into the second spot. But Thomas has put enough distance and a lap car between the two of them. Beckner has the issue fixed. He's going to come back out on the track as the leaders go by. So Beckner's got a lap down now. here in these next few laps during the second half of this race. making his way through lap traffic, trying to put some more space between him and the 44 of Green, using these lap cars to try and slow him down. Looks like something has gone wrong on the 50 of Jeff Wright. His car is suddenly off the pace. Something is amiss on that 50 car. He's slowly putting his way down the back straightaway in the 50. Something has 
gone wrong on the Jeff Wright machine. He has fallen. That car just started falling off the pace. Cut down right in front of the 31 of J.T. Tippins, almost causing a wreck. And let's see if he can get that car to pit road, because if he cannot get that car to pit road, the caution will come out. White flag in the air for Patrick Thomas. As he's about to put on another, put another victory on his record. You know, 2015 he was the NASCAR Division Three National Champion. Last year he was the NASCAR Division Two National Champion. And tonight he's your feature winner, Patrick Thomas. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, pulling into the Hampton and Victory Lane, your sportsman feature winner for July 15th, 2017, Patrick Thomas. <laughs> 